Hi, my name is Tim Beresford. I'm the Deputy CEO for the Australian Trade Investment Commission. I look after global markets and sector engagement. FinTech is a growing and emerging sector in Australia. It's literally gone from not much to substantial size within the last four, five, six years. As you mentioned, we have over 700 organisations actively involved in FinTech. And the vast bulk of those are actually interested in developing inter international markets, which is, I guess, why Austrade's interested in really trying to drive that opportunity for them to develop into international markets. In terms of market capitalisation, they're growing, but they'll grow into multi-billion dollar sector over the next couple of years. Look, Australia has a deep, deep and capable financial services sector. And I think there's an open acknowledgement by our financial services companies that they actually need to look at actually their own models of operation to deliver good and great customer outcomes. Off the back of that, there is also an explosion of capability around data analytics, around AI, virtual reality, with the realisation that there's a place to play here for those organisations with agility and capacity and capability to come into the sector and help the financial services sector effectively disrupt itself. Um, what we've seen through that disruption is fintech industries really growing in our lending and payments platforms, but also uh, finding their way into the regulation called RegTech and also insurance. And I think it's that confluence of both the banks understanding the need to disrupt themselves with the opportunity that came off the back of AI and virtual reality and the various other uh, technical capa capabilities that actually caused this opportunity to blossom. And now we have, as we discussed a little earlier, a flush flourishing fintech sector which is wanting to go global. One of the things that Australia has typically been is, is an early adopter in a number of different sectors which embrace technology. Fin financial services is yet another one of those. Um, we have a very, very robust and strong financial services sector and, and customers are basically saying to the major banks, we need to do business differently. If you'd asked somebody 10 years ago how often they would go to a branch, they would have said quite regularly. But nowadays people don't go to branches and want a better quality of service and a more real-time level of service in terms of what their banking needs are. Hence the opportunity, hence the ability of fintech and the agility they bring to actually disrupt the very experience which is a financial services experience for the customer. They've gone on their own journey, but I think they've now realised that if they are to be sustainable and actually recreate themselves, they do need to disrupt themselves. Um, and hence the fact that nowadays you actually see both large major financial services sectors working alongside the fintech sector to actually create the new experience, the new experience in terms of their financial needs and their financial desires of the consumer. And I think they've learned that they actually need to re-energise their relationship with their customers through a more digitally enhanced, agile way of working with their customers. As I said before, people just don't necessarily see the need to go to the bank branch. They actually want their financial services given to them in a different way, in a more professional and a more streamlined manner. That's where FinTech has come in to really play a serious role. There's a terrific global uh, footprint here in Singapore of, of wonderful financial institutions serving this region and beyond. But equally, you can go to other parts of the world. I've just recently been in Mumbai. There's a real, real appetite in Mumbai to really create a genuinely uh, capable financial uh, services sector, which is different from the experience that people are getting t uh, today. In terms of wealth management, um, um, with ageing population in Japan, you know, there's deep, deep opportunities to actually provide a better experience for them in that space. I think here, obviously, banking and lending platforms, here being Singapore banking and lending platforms, and giving the clients a different lending experience, a different platform experience, actually really plays strongly into the hands. I think in India, I think RegTech is quite profound. Australia has some of the best regulations in banking and in financial services sector, and the Indians would be the first to say that this is an emerging capacity and emerging capability. So bringing a new wave of regulation through red tech and actually thinking through that in India is, ve is a very exciting prospect for Australia and indeed for India. Today we're actually at a, a conference which is about connecting, uh, connecting the large financial services uh, companies with indeed these emerging and agile uh, players in market. 
We're here today in Singapore looking to connect actual large, large financial services with actually these agile Australian businesses to actually discuss what possible opportunities and what possible ways they can help those large businesses, those large Singaporean businesses, actually solve some of their own internal challenges through either reg tech, insure tech or fintech. So look, I think what will happen is that you're starting to see more, um, more, more global flow of, of capital. You're, you're starting to see um, significant players unfold and emerge. Um, you know, Shenzhen 25, 30 years ago was a fishing village. Today it's a multi-million dollar city. Um, the, these are illustrations of what's unfolding as we speak. You're going to see the further rise of Asia, so there'll be more powerhouses in Asia. Uh, here in Asia right today in Singapore, there's a terrific opportunity for Singapore. What I'd like to leave them is, is that Australia has a lot to offer and we actually want to play to both their strengths and our strengths. Our strengths is that we have real capability in fintech, in lending and platforms, as well as reg tech and insurance tech. Their strengths is they know their customers, they know their business, and they know they have to disrupt their own business to be successful with their customers. There's an opportunity. Let's seize the moment. Mm -hmm.